I'd like to welcome Leslie to our Shear Cover Studio. Welcome, Leslie. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Very good. How long have you been using Shear Cover? I've been using Shear Cover a little over a year. Okay. And what do you like so much about it? I love the fact that it's natural. I love that it's light, and I love that it's easy to custom blend depending on your right. shades of skin. So it's foolproof. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, would you like to show us how you'd go through your normal morning routine? Sure. Well, first, my normal morning routine would be to cleanse okay. and then use the toner mm -hmm. and then actually put on the moisturizer, the moisturizer with the SPF and let okay. that set. That is the way it's actually intended. It's best to use that complete system with the Sheer Cover Foundation. What would you do next? Then I would actually take the Duo Concealer. Do you use both? I do use both depending on if I've had some sun, if I haven't. So I'll actually just take a little bit of each and I put it underneath my eyes where it's a little dark. You're using your fingertip and this is a great way to melt the concealer into your skin so it looks very natural. The other alternative of course is to use the concealer brush which comes in your kit. This is going to give you a very precise application. You're going to be able to get it in underneath uh, the eyes into the very corner there and also round the sides of the nose which is an area on your face that does tend to uh, get dark shadow. Also, if you have a blemish, it's a great way to get precise application. But you can also feather uh, the product out with a brush so it blends naturally with the skin. So there's another alternative. I see you've put that a little bit on some broken capillaries there. Yeah, I, I get a little bit of redness around my nose. It's so typical as women get older. And also sun damage, that's what those broken capillaries will often be. Okay, so do you actually do a custom blend of the mineral foundation itself? Yes, when I first got the product, I take a little bit and I put it inside the lid. Mm -hmm. And I take a little bit more and put it in the lid and I take the end of the brush and actually... Blend it like that. Blend it like that. Do you that. do this every single morning or do you actually blend it all up in like a big batch of it and put it in the travel brush No, I don't do it every morning. I did find a blend that worked for me and I'd put it in the travel brush so I could just throw it in my purse. So when I'm on the go, it's easy for touch-ups. And also, you don't have to do the blending every single morning. No, and it's nice too because if, for instance, I didn't get some sun and the blend was a little heavier, I can go back and add to it and adjust it. Absolutely. So I dip the brush in and tap it so the excess falls into the brush, so even when it goes on my face and I swirl it around, it will still get... You get the right coverage without too much coverage. Yes. Because the mineral foundation is so incredibly concentrated, you really need only a very small amount. A little bit is going to go a really long way, unlike a liquid foundation. You can see in the top of the lid here that we're using today, it's tiny particles. And those tiny particles are actually going to blend so well with Leslie's skin with her natural oils, and that's the True Shade technology. It's going to adjust to her skin colour, and it's going to look incredibly natural. A little bit around the nose. A little bit around the nose. I kind of swirl it around the eyes. Yeah, swirling it around is really going to get it in properly. It's give you the smoothest finish. So it doesn't take very long at all. No. And you're done. And I'm done. Now, what else would you normally wear? What other makeup would you uh, add to your look? A little, a little mascara mm -hmm. and a little bit of lip, lip liner or lip shine. Okay. When you buy the kit, we're also going to give you the sheer color sampler. Now, this uh, compact is actually equipped with the Cafe Mocha. This is a cream eyeliner, a lovely eyeliner that you can make either a precise line or blend out. It also has three highlighters and some lip glosses. Now I'm actually going to use the highlighters on you today because okay. it's a product that you probably haven't used before so yeah. let me introduce you to these. Highlighters can be used anywhere we want to draw in the light and have the light flecked away and that's going to uh, give you a little bit of luminosity especially when you use it on the inner corners of the eye it's going to help make your eyes look bigger and brighter. So I'm actually going to just use my fingertip and I'm going to use all three. They're very easily blendable. First of all, I'm going to use them on the brow bone. As we age, our brow bones tend to eyes get a little saggy, tend to go south for the winter. Like you look like you've been south to the winter with a nice tan. <laughs> um, and that's actually going to give the effect of lifting the eyebrow. So right there on the brow bone, just moving here. It's also a great look for the evening. A little bit of glamour for your nighttime makeup. But because they're so sheer, you can still wear them during the daytime. 
highlighter can you, you can use wherever you sort of have high points on the face. So cheekbones as well, sometimes even the end of the nose and a little bit on the chin. This is a little bit more of a glamorous look for the evening. Um, I'm actually going to use the concealer brush because it's going to get me a nice precise application for the inner corner of the eye. So just close your eyes for me, Leslie. You'll see many actresses on the red carpet at special events with that little bit of luminosity on the inner corner of their eyes. And it looks fabulous. Okay, so super easy. Take a look. It's very sheer, it's very light. It's it, brighten, it brightens your eyes up. brightens your eyes up. Yes. Completely wearable during the day. Yes. Pop on the mascara for me and we'll complete your look. The mascara contains panthenol, which is going to help prevent any breakage, much like panthenol products in, uh, in hair care. And Leslie is cheating by having actually excellent eye eyelashes. Oh, thanks. But it only takes one coat. She's using the blink method, which is to basically blink and then drag the, the comb, the eyelash brush. It works best for me. <laughs> there really is no right and wrong. Up to you. One coat. One ready coat. to go. Ready to go. And very, very easy. Excellent. Thank you, Leslie. You're welcome.